Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, seaside News. Yeah, go on. Uh, second Cup final. Last one didn't go to plan. What have you learned and what will you be telling the players? Oh, I, think, I think it's difficult, to be honest. It's, it's easy sometimes to look back at and see what regrets you have, you know. It's not go football. So you can always go back and say, oh, I would have done that different. I think this year we're kind of going on, you know, let's try and keep it as normal as we can. Let's just make it a normal game. There's a little bit more on it. But, uh, yeah, as normal as we can, keep the procedures the same, and, yeah, that should work for us. Uh, Portugal Post, you've yeah. just come back from a two-week break. Not ideal preparation. A bank holiday on Monday. Have the players come back in good shape? Any fitness concerns? Oh, to be honest, um, I think the FAW got some stuff to answer to. I know, you know, the, the pile-up of the fixtures has been horrendous. We really had to, had to get the players through as best we can, um, and we've managed that. But, you know, there's no complaints. You know, it's the same for both both clubs. So, no excuses at all in terms of injury fears. I think, you know, we got we got one that's a long-term injury that's out. But, um, yeah, everyone else, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're all pretty, pretty uh, fine, to be honest. You know, little minor knocks, but everyone should be fine come game day. Uh, Scoresport.com, a talented group here. Are they the best group you've ever had? Oh, that's a tough question. Best group ever. I mean, they are talented. You know, we're a kind of club where we're kind of stepping stones to, to to others. You know, we never tend to keep the same. The eleven they had last year, I can't believe all of them left. I think I think they went. You're, you're nine, I think. Um, but and, and this year we managed to get eleven from the same place. They came from from year seven. So yeah, you know, we we move on. We we gotta find a way where we're gonna lose players, but. Um, yeah, they're a very talented bunch. They've got to put their, their name in the window now. You know, there'll be a lot of eyes on, on, on this fixture, so there's a chance to, to really put their name out there. But, um, you know, we're kind of built in the last few years a club which, you know, we haven't got the most amount of money, but we're, we're trying to get the right ethos around the place so we can win things, you know, win this final. There's a reason Newcastle United have all their money on, didn't it? And, you know, and it's not because it's a Bridgen Cup. Um, it's, it's because they haven't got the, the winning mentality that we do. Yeah. Uh, Scott's Welsh Bugle. Uh, are you confident the boys can finally break a ball and run in major finals? Uh, any fear of your opponents? I, I mean, I go into this really confident. We look at their one through, through the competition so far. We've come up against some, some real tough competition and, and the boys have, have really come through. So you've got to enter it, you know, with, with some more confidence. But at the same time, I respect our opponents. You know, they're a bigger club. Some people perhaps would say they're favourite. Um, but, you know, I like to think we're, we're in a good position. You know, if everything goes to plan, yeah, I'm fairly confident. Yeah. PCS Press Box. Some changes in the board at a higher level this week. The players take any notice of that? Oh yeah, it's been. I think it's been uh, well publicised. Some, some, you know, senior figureheads here at, at Port Call um, moving on with uh, with some new ones coming in. I, I think it day to day running in the short term. I don't think it affects us for the final. I mean, long term, who knows? I think we're going a little bit into the unknown as as to who's coming in. But you know, all we focus it on is focusing on is just getting ready for this final. Uh, Port Call Post again. Uh, some fans on social media question your priorities. Not long ago, you were on international duty with Wales. So can you clarify, is it Wales, foot, golf, Port Call in that <laughs> order? <laughs> I mean, I can't, I, can't, I can't deny what you're saying in terms of um, I've been elsewhere. I've been quite lucky over the years. You know, I've been, I've been in, my, in this role for, for quite a, a while. Um, I've built up a backroom staff which has, has really you know, bought into this idea. They know everyone's singing from the same hymn sheet, so you know the players are lucky that if I'm not available at any point, you know the other staff will take over, and, and I'm confident that they're still making the same amount of progress. I can't comment on my priorities, but uh, it, it won't be affecting this final. Both go first. Obviously, this is important to you and the players want silverware, but how important is this to the town? Oh, it's massive. I mean, you know, absolutely massive. You know, we all want to win. Of course, of course, the lads want to pick up some silverware, but it's absolutely huge. Those fans have seen us through, you know, through the, the very lows, um, right through to actually being able to go to, to the stadium. I mean, I think, you know, our season ticket holders, they obviously, it would be nice for them to have a day out. But, yeah, I think the tickets sold out within hours, to be honest. It's going to be jam-packed. 
there's not going to be anyone left in Port Court, I think. So, yeah, it's going to be a really nice occasion. I'm just hoping that, that the big crowd and the expectation doesn't, doesn't get to the players. But, yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to be huge for the town, massive. Uh, see St. Neves again. Uh, success brings opportunity. It's a few years since your first cup final. Um, you've been overlooked for the senior's job since then. Is this something that bothers you? To be honest, um, I don't think now is the right time to be discussing my sort of position and my, my contract. I, you know, I'm happy where I am. I think like, it's been successful, but you know, it'll be the wrong time to discuss my future. You know, it's a results game, and you know, we're in a final for a reason because we've worked hard and we've got you. But whatever it is, it is. You know, we're gonna have you know big figureheads coming in. They might not want someone like me, so. We'll sit down after the season's finished and, and we'll be in a better position to see how it will work. I mean, hopefully we'll sit down and they can, they can back us with, with a little bit of money and try and keep, you know, sign up some new players and get some people on good contracts. Uh, my Steve Bugle, um, a Wednesday AM Cup final. Unusual scheduling? Yeah, really unusual, but looking at it, maybe the fourth be with us. Thank you.